all right we are here at virgo welcome back to the channel virgo it's me oh you with the tarot channel message for you today we're gonna get right into your tu intuitive messages with a um with a distraction from the helicopters like they've been surrounding and hovering over me all morning that's the sun's job all right um using the wild unknown tarot deck today we're gonna jump right into your messages and see what spirit has to say what energies are surrounding you what's coming towards you all right we also have oracles as well we'll get to it stick around to the end all right messages for our earth sign virgo today spirit what messages do we have for virgo Ooh, what type of birds do we got here man <laughs> all right we got enough jumpers here let's get your reading started for virgo ace of wands virgo is extremely busy at this time or feeling uh extremely creative or this could be sex passion surrounding you you have a, an aura of um creativity or appealing i'm getting a lot of um it's a lot it's happy though mm -hmm. yeah i'm getting happy this could be like creating something um i'm almost getting like well, i'm literally thinking about sesame street even though i haven't watched sesame street in years but this is like uh yeah so the lover's car yeah so this is sex coming towards you possibly a family being created or initiated or someone's expressing to you that they're attracted to you maybe they like your art as well they may be like the way that you think, the way that you express ideas, right? You could be very good at networking here, Daughter of Swords, getting your point across. You make it no, you, you you may get your business to network or hand out business cards. Okay. Or something like that here. The lovers, there's a lot of communication. Communion and network here, high priestess, cancer energy, an intuitive, a psychic. Or someone that's able to feel out the energies around them here. Yeah, a lot of create, a lot of create creativity, right? We often tend to have a lot of creativity. <laughs> we often tend to have a lot of energy as well. AKA, if you didn't know, most electronics mess up around intuitives. So when they write about this thing, these things in science fiction books and movies, it is actually indeed, indeed true. Like an air sign, most air signs are masters of social media or masters of the internet, the world wide web or technology. We have free speech. We have um, open minds and that sort of thing. Uh, toxicity comes in. We spend a lot of time online and on social media. So our cell phone batteries or whatever device we're using, it drains fast, right? Just like how ghosts or aliens or whatever supernatural occurrence makes lights flicker on and off or drains batteries that sort of thing <sighs> energy is not destroyed it's only transferred from one place to another so for an, an etherical being to grab hold of a body they need to take energy from somewhere to make their presence known ace of pentacles otherwise they can just jump right into your body right <laughs> let's see guard your gates man guard your neck guard your neck <laughs> hmm is this a love doctor or a love guru yep daughter of cups dating some sort of a dating professional this could be a game show channel as well some sort of a dating show mm -hmm. but a lot of high power people coming up on this thing here possibly even money's made this could be some sort of an award. What the hell is going on here? What's the message? Why is this reading all over the place? So we got uh, for Virgo, we got Ace of Wands grounding your reading, which means you're, you've recently started something, initiated something. I'm not sure if it was a gym membership, some sort of a physical training, some sort of an art project or creative project. I'm not sure if you're opening up a, a new social media platform or something like that. You're going into content creation. You have something to say here. You're wanting to communicate with people, lovers, right? Gemini energy, daughter of swords, expressing your ideas, right? This could be a course as well. Maybe you're a teacher. But we also have love coming towards you with the lovers. So this could be a high priestess, Cancer. Um, definitely a water sign for the most part. Because we have the high priestess and daughter of cups. So someone's coming towards you with a cup or they're coming towards you with romantic ideas. Ace of Pentacles could be marriage as well. This could be them juggling multiple relationships. Mm -hmm. 
from getting a game show like that flavor of love crap uh but to make it more practical if this is like real life right you have real people watch these things this could be again someone um this could be a new relationship right because we have the ace of pentacles so someone that's coming around to help you feel grounded in the future this could be a marriage right commitment but it's new here it's budding so we're starting at one the aces are ones and then we're going to two which is the two of pentacles so we're starting here they hey you had me at hello so they already know they're gonna get married to each other there's just all this in between and it's your fault or their fault or together you guys have to not fuck it up here <laughs> All right, fa yeah, Father of Swords comes out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is rules, regulations, guidelines, vetting, right? This is, um, I almost said quarterbacking. This is refereeing the situation, right? Black and white. It's <laughs> yeah, a lot of black and white here, though. Um, Ten of Cups, yeah. They're very enamored with you, very taken. There could be a lot of intuition here. Typically, my lineage card, though, this is being able to network, bring in family and friends, celebration, happiness, joy, contentment, and being able to share it with people. Mm -hmm. Now, this could also be health, good health and clairvoyance as well. We have a lot of clairvoyant gifts. It comes right on top of high priestess. So, talking about having a third eye, this person got 10 eyes. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got. <laughs> We got the magician, master manifesto or manipulator here. They're working on a business. Looks like they're focused on their finances. I still see it as a wedding ring though, so they maybe they could be focused on finances to uh, get towards some sort of a wish fulfillment here with the Ten of Pentacles. Sorry, the Ten of Cups. So they're working to for their family here. They're wanting to have a family. Mm -hmm. What else we have? Tower coming in on top of the Daughter of Cups. This could be toxic love here. Or someone's mildly obsessed with you here. Major Arcana, the Tower, the Magician, the High Priestess, and the Lovers. Yeah, this is an obsession. It's a positive obsession. However, um, I think this person, uh, oof. They may be feeling themselves. They may feel like they want you, but at the same time, they feel like they still have multiple actions. Like, I'm not sure if this person's trying to put you in, if this is a relationship, I'm not, I think they're trying to put you in an open relationship. The other thing is, um, outside of that story, who are we dealing with? Scorpio, we're dealing with Aries, we're dealing with uh, the High Priestess Cancer and a Lover's Gemini. I would say one from every suit. But a strong air sign energy here. Mm -hmm. So, maybe they're not dealing with a lot of people sexually, although what's grounding the people is the Ace of Wands. So they're probably a very passionate speaker. Again, an inspirational speaker or a thought provoker here. Probably some sort of a scientist or alchemist, right? The magician. Shows up in the reading. They're actually doing spells here with the Tower card. Moon magic here with the High Priestess. The lovers, they're attracting love here. But again, I, top three reasons men don't get married is because they don't have the money for it. <laughs> All right, Ace of Pentacles. We have monies on the way, though. Building some sort of a um, grounded, stable structure here. It's a lot of court cards. There could be a lot of people in the way here. A lot of people in your business here. I don't even want to sift through this, right? There's gossip going on here. The Tower card, Scorpio. Something's being hidden. Man, don't you hate those third wheels? Or people with with uh, an overwhelming um, amount of bad experience and, and bad advice is trying to give you some sort of a, a, a good advice. They can, they can give you bad advice. That's not a problem. Like, <laughs> they're still, you had a lot of bad experiences that they're still used for, for you here. You're able to give people bad advice, okay? <laughs> don't go to someone that's going to give you bad advice let's see um, we got flirt 
you've got flirtation coming towards you here. So someone's enamored with you. Someone likes you. Someone's going to come towards you here. Yeah. They like you here. Something about the attention of others, though. <laughs> I think that may be a, a triggering. I think when other people try to get your attention, they get triggered. Or vice versa. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all, which would be love, right? Open your heart, flirt, express yourself, healing family issues here. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Usually your parents set your expectations of the type of people that you want to um, attract in your life, right? Playfulness. The funny part is, is when I see people that don't want to date someone all of a sudden, they've been dating somebody for three to six months and then all of a sudden they date somebody and they don't want to date them. No. They Like say, um, a, a, a man will introduce his girl to his mom and his mom's like, hell no, don't date her. Or like uh, a, a girl will introduce uh, a man to her parents and then her parents likes them. And then she's like, I don't like you anymore because you're not cool anymore. My parents are lame. And if they think that they like, if they like you, then you must be lame. So I don't like you anymore. <laughs> we have express your love here. <laughs> express yourself. That's what I'm getting. Haven't played that song in a long time. That may be a channel message for uh, in there and that song for someone. Yeah, express yourself. Ace of Wands, express your creativity. What else, what else is hiding under here? Son of Pentacles, the Hermit. Yeah, someone's hiding their potential here. Let it go. Oh, someone's a closet freak here. Ace of Wands, the Hermit. <laughs> Virgo, you damn closet freak showing up in your reading like this. Let's see. What did I pull? I pulled the Romance Angels. Yeah, that's right. Let's get into it with the Monologies. Let's see what, what the Monologies has to say in regards to your... Um, your current situation, your current energies. What the universe has to say? What's the advice the um, the angels and the ancestors want to give through the oracles? The oracles. The oracles. All right. Luck is on your side. New moon is Sagittarius. Could be dealing with a Sag. We have luck here is on your side. Your loved ones and you are safe. New moon and Cancer. So, so far we're dealing with a Sag and a Cancer time to take action new moon in aries so someone's very protective of their family here mm -hmm. nothing will come of this situation void course of moon so this could be a return to sender spell we have step out of your comfort zone north node right being brave following your north is being brave becoming your best the best version of yourself right what do we say about the best actors right the best villains in movies Man, that person played that part so good, I hate them now, <laughs> right? Exactly. You want to work so hard that people don't even know who you is no more. They start to call you a demon when in actuality a demon is a genius, right? Why do you think Solomon was possessed by so many of them in the Bible, all right? That's what I have for you. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one, Virgo. Peace.